Hi, this is Frankie and I'm back with another Behind the Drapes. I know that a lot of patients, sometimes they take this for granted. They don't, they don't think this is as important as it really is. And it's eating and drinking before surgery. And stay till the end of this video because I want to talk about something that is affecting this when they come in the morning of surgery or sometimes uh, they're scheduled for the second surgery of the day or the third surgery of the day and they haven't had anything to eat or drink and uh, a lot of them are hangry. The importance of being NPO or nothing by orum, nothing by mouth before surgery is that once you get into the OR and I give you medications to induce anesthesia, which means to put you to sleep, all of your protective reflexes are abated. So meaning your cough reflexes go away and some of the anesthesia medications even lower the tone of your lower esophageal sphincter. And I'm going to tell you why that's important. Your trachea has protective mechanisms to prevent anything from getting into your lungs because that can be a dire consequence that can cause pneumonia and actually even can cause death. And that's called aspiration when food or drink gets into your lungs. When we go and give you medications in the OR to try to, to induce anesthesia and before I place the endotracheal tube to secure your airway, because remember that time from the time that I give you the medication to put you to sleep and I insert the tube, that is the, the most crucial time in anesthesia. That's the time that your airway is not properly secured. And if there is anything in your stomach, food or drink, it actually can come back and go into your lungs and cause complications. So as quickly as possible, after I place you asleep, I insert the endotracheal tube, inflate the cuff, and that cuff actually seals off your trachea and doesn't allow anything that's in your stomach to get through. Now, you may be asking, but Frankie, what happens sometimes patients, they have surgery right after they had an accident or some emergency surgery. Well, that's a different situation. That's life or death. All of our procedures are cosmetic procedures. So they're elective procedures and we would not put the patient at risk by putting them under anesthesia while they have a full, what we consider a full stomach. Now in emergency situations in the hospital, when someone comes in from trauma or they need the surgery, we have to outweigh the risks of the patient having aspiration with whatever trauma or the necessity for surgery that they have in that immediate moment. It is not the ideal situation, but in that case, it's a necessity. So we'll go ahead and induce anesthesia, even being that the patient is in full stomach. One thing that I wanted to talk about is that a lot of patients have been taking and using semaglutide, also known as Ozempic, for uh, the purpose of weight loss. And one of the things that Ozempic does increases the amount of time that food actually stays in your stomach. It's one of the mechanisms of that particular medication. So by food staying in your stomach longer than eight hours, sometimes 12 hours or even more, sometimes that eight hours isn't enough to actually empty your whole stomach and it could be a risk for aspiration. So one of the things that we're doing here at the clinic is we're asking that patients do not take or stop using Ozempic or semaglutide at least two weeks before surgery. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit more why you shouldn't have anything to eat or drink before surgery. 